What's going on guys? Jesus loves you. My name is Cody and this is the Christian News Show. We do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That being said, we have to talk about the news because if we were not to talk about the news and it's Christian News Show, that would make me a liar. It's a Christian that would look very bad. But, uh, we had a thoughts that come into my head. We'll move on now. And the first thing we could talk about today is Pregnant Robots because they're a thing. I guess. And I have to admit that I saw the headline and got really excited because I was like, yeah, we could talk about churches using technology in new ways and how praying robots probably isn't the right way to go, but how necessary other technology is. But that's, that's not what this is about in any way. The, the robots do pray, kind of. They're actually an art project made by an artist, Cal Spelletic, who's not a Christian at all, but he did like the idea of these robots praying in different ways depending on the humans near them. I do use the word praying loosely and I only do so because that's how he describes what they're doing. They do get in like praying positions like on their knees, folding their hands, things like that. And one of the cool things about them is like they do change their positions depending on like heat signatures and a lot of other different things that they get from humans walking near them. Cal says that he's not spiritual in any way but he did think it was a great idea to have robots that change depending on the aura of the humans near it. And I just think there's something probably profound in the idea that like these things that were made by humans get into praying positions when near humans, their creator. But I don't know what that, uh, that profound thing is. I, uh, I was hoping that by the time I filmed this, it would just come out kind of smoothly, but uh, no, so just, it's, it's profound, okay? Just go with it. In fact, hey, if it inspires you to have a little mini sermon, let me know in the comment section below. And the second story we need to talk about is the government because yay, politics. If you haven't heard already, the government's probably going to shut down tomorrow. But I say probably because it's not a for sure thing. And people are making a big deal about this because it hasn't happened in 20 years, but we do need to remember that it almost happened in 2011 as well. And the reason that the government would be shut down is because there's one big thing that the Congress has to do according to the Constitution, and that is to pass a spending bill for the government. If they don't make a spending bill, then everything dealing with money and the government kind of slowly comes to a halt. And this is because if the spending bill isn't passed, then you have everybody in the government not knowing how much money they're allowed to spend. So therefore, they can't spend any money and no decisions can be made until this spending bill is passed. Whatever spending bill they decide to go with. And so the question becomes, why can't they decide on which spending bill to pass? And that comes down to Obamacare, which is that whole healthcare thing that Obama's been pushing ever since he, like, was in office. See, most Democrats are like, we, we need to fund this, so we need to put some money towards it. It's not gonna affect anything dealing with everybody else. It'll be fine. We just we need to put some funding into Obamacare. Not a big deal. And then you have Republicans that are like, it's not going to affect us. What do you mean it's not going to affect us? You are taking money that could go elsewhere and putting it into Obamacare. That, that That's going to affect us. And then you have everybody else, all the normal people that are like, yeah, doctor's visits are stupid expensive. I think that universal healthcare probably would be a good idea as long as it doesn't infringe on my freedom of religion. But if we did have universal health care, then Breaking Bad, something that I really like, wouldn't have been a thing because Walter White wouldn't have been making meth to pay for his medical bills because they would have been paid for by the government. And let's be honest, we really want to live in a world without Breaking Bad. Now, I do want to be clear that government shutting down does not mean total anarchy. It just means the government can't make any other decisions until they figure this spending bill out. And our final story of the day is about Saeed Abedini. He is a pastor and he has dual citizenship in Iran and the United States. And the last time that we talked about him was because he was sent to an Iranian prison for being Christian. Sadly, that hasn't changed yet and neither has the idea that he is probably being tortured every day while he's there. But today I found something that I thought was pretty cool that you can use to try to help him get out possibly. Now it is something small, but it's a website I found where you can write a letter to the president of Iran asking him to release Pastor Abedini. But every week they are sending letters to the president of Iran asking him to release Saeed Abedini and these letters are written by you and me and just the citizens of the United States. Now honestly there is probably a chance that he just takes all of these thousand letters and throws them into a spam mailbox but it's just a small way that you can help at least in some way. So again link to that in the description below. And since I couldn't think of a good question of the day, the question of the day today is what is profound about praying robots? I know there's something in there, I just don't know what. As always, please leave a comment and comment below with your answer. I really want to know what you guys think. I just, it seems entertaining. My name is Cody Armour, bringing news to the Christian community every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless.